Hello everybody, welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and today we are making an SSTO. Now right on your screen you should see a concept design which I found on the internet. I do not know the name of this specific concept design but nevertheless we are making it. Now the intent of this design is to be able to go to the moon and uh, yeah ends up working in the end surprisingly well. So let's uh, let's get to it, shall we? I'm just blabbing on here. Now, if you may have noticed, we are using the latest version of KSP, which is 0.25.0. And just a reminder for those of you that aren't aware, that was the update that implemented the Space Plane Plus parts from an actual mod made by Porkjet, which we reviewed kind of like a few months ago, I think good mod and as you can see for yourself uh, we have a, a variety of parts the, the thing that I'm placing down there were some air intakes pretty cool ones actually I think they are they are better than the RAM air intakes and I say I think I'm not 100% certain I do believe they are slightly lighter yeah and yeah, they're pretty cool looking too they, they suit this plane very nice and look at that kind of an early liftoff uh, I was originally planning on having six turbojet engines, but there's my brother screaming in the background. Shut up! Excuse my language. <laughs> anyway, he didn't hear that anyway. I'm just being silly. So here we are, currently high above Kerbin. And as you can see there, I was just adjusting the thrust on the engines because we are high enough in the altitude that, well, these engines might flame out. So, yeah. Look at that, atomic rocket motors are on. Uh, also, perhaps I should tell you, I have the action group set. So number one on your keyboard is for two turbojet engines. Number two is for the remaining two turbojet engines. Number three is for the atomic rocket motor, which is both on the, the very far side of each, each wing. And we have, uh, if you press number four, you'll find that we have two secretly hidden liquid fuel engines that are actually within the turbojet engine and don't you worry because uh, there's no problems with them they don't you know they don't cause each other problems so yeah the two far turbojet engines in the middle there right inside you'll find those liquid engines so keep a look at it's those rocker max ones like real small ones I forget the name. Oh, it might be the radial, radial ones. Ah, I don't know the name. Anyways, here we are going to the moon, the famous moon. And look at that, two kerbals. And yes, here we go, getting closer, getting closer. Uh, make sure you use RCS. Oh my god, my brother! My brother won't stop. I, I'm very, very sorry. I, I, I struggled to record because he's just screaming his lungs out. And look at this perfect landing. I spoke too soon. <laughs> now, look at that. Look at it. a nice descent. All's going well so far. And look at that. Kind of stored there, but nevertheless, going down on an angle now in the wrong direction. And look at that. I kind of got scared then because the RCS wasn't really helping very much. I think it was, it was because we had caps lock on. And look at that nice explosion. Yes. A new addition or a new fix with the new update. Nice explosions with paper flying out of it. <laughs> it looks like paper if you pause it for a second. But there we go. We've landed. I think that's a good landing, right? Although we sort of screwed up in the beginning. There we go. And the Kerbal is obviously happy. Whoever that is. Wait, what's the name? I can't see the name. It's too far. Too, too far. Okay, go back. Go back inside. Yep, here we go. Go back to cupboard now. Smoggy bays are retracted. And we are heading off. Look at that. Nice and easy. Indeed. So, uh, what do you guys think of this this fabulous design? <laughs> this fabulous design. Okay. Yeah, what do you think of it? Do you think it's good? Uh, do you think it... Obviously, it's a little different than the concept design that I showed you, but... It's got the basic structure, I'd say. Somewhat similar in structure. Yep. 
that's how it works with these concept designs. <laughs> Don't follow the rules, you will be all good. And here we go. Yep. I was planning on error breaking. Which works fine. Save on fuel, although we have enough fuel to go back to Kerbin. Plenty of fuel. And bang, time up. Faster. Yes. This is, I actually time skipped just then. If you did not realize, I did end up error breaking. I made a, a nice orbit and then I figured, okay, time to go back to Kerbin. And here we go. So unfortunately, at this point, the fuel wasn't exactly being distributed and the jet, turbojet engines were not receiving fuel. So I, I tried to transfer fuel, but uh, it didn't exactly work. I didn't realize that. Yeah, it was coming in hot. <laughs> anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. Download link in the description. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.